Hello everyone and welcome to a 3v3 on the spearhead cast on the map of Rimargen. You can find it on the workshop. The bridge of Rimargen, or just Rimargen. It's an eastern front battle this time though. Go for the players. Represent the Soviet Union. We have Unter Commander coming out without any commander choice yet. And we have Take Take the Beer and Watch My Game going straight out the gate with artillery division for the Soviets. Unter Commander still not picked anything. And we have Sir Pack 1 or Pack. Is it a one? Oh, it's a pack. It's an L. Pack L. Also playing as artillery. So we have double artillery. That's going to mean a lot of defensive capabilities for the Soviets. Represent the Axis. We have Maverick going straight out the gate for Sturm. Tactics for the Waffen SS. Jury Astraf Division for the Wehrmacht. And J. Bay Nawak as Panzer Tactics for the Waffen SS. This is going to be a lot of fighting, I feel. We need to keep an eye on what the, what the Unter Commander picks. They are the only one who has not picked the commander yet. But double Soviet artillery, that could really scale well into the late game, simply because of the sheer amount of firepower they can put down on the Germans. You know, the Germans have pushed very far up on some flanks, but the center flank is being secured by... Well, not really secured yet, but both Grenadiers and Pioneers are pushing up rapidly. Doom Grenadiers coming in behind here. That bus is staying in position there behind the sandbags, waiting for more troops. Lots of Soviets have been prepared. Trench lines are also present. The first shots have already been fired up here by this building. Fire some storm behind here. No one died yet. We might have a proper engagement here as the Soviets push up. Yep. The conscripts need to get ready to just swarm, I think. They need to swarm and get into various positions. Yeah, there you go. They did an Ura. Well, oh, that's vodka, actually. Now they need to Ura and get into various fighting positions, I feel. And that's a lot of Soviets. They're not very accurate when they have vodka activated, but they are tougher. The Soviets are marching. One flash on the sappers. And up close, this, the conscripts will win out, I think. You know, the southern flank, the Soviets are trying to do something with sappers. And Fontoviki, actually. So we have Fontoviki at the southern flank, so more elite troops that are being pushed. Well, more train troops are being pushed out to the front. And the conscripts continue their little harassment move here. Got a Molotov going out. The Soviets also pushed up up here. Lots of conscripts to the advantage. The artillery division is very defensive focused and mass focused. So you can actually do pretty well. Rifle division is all the same for the Soviets, but artillery can just do it in a similar fashion. But I think those conscripts are not going to get out of there. Soviets do suffer increased chance to be hit while retreating. That's a unique feature of them in Spearhead. To increase the amount of casualties you take as the Soviet Union, really. But the Soviets can also recuperate a lot easier than other factions, to my knowledge. We have a Dushka coming out. Do we have a commander choice? Not yet. We have a Maxim coming out. You can actually give them three extra man, man if you're playing as a artillery division, which can be a pretty big deal. Lots of conscripts just covering the front line right now from Sir Pakel. The Soviets are ready to push up further. The Storm Grid here is not in position yet. But it looks like the conscripts have turned around and they're gonna die then. German penal troops are providing some cover fire for the Panzerbüchse. As some actual grenadiers come up. Oh, we have a commander. Choice. It's also artillery. Triple Soviet artillery. That is a lot of firepower late game. I guess the Soviets are planning to shell the Germans into submission. And so all this artillery pushes up to just buy some time for the... Uh... Oh, we also have the three extra men. They're just not uh, available yet. But he can, he can also lay mines with the conscripts as artillery, which is handy. He can still merge with the conscripts into the Maxim before retreating after laying mines. So that's probably what he plans to do, or what they plan to do. Those conscripts can merge. Several Maxims are coming out for the other Soviets. And those Sturm Grenadiers are in trouble. 
And Mo Kunz pushing up. And with those penis being suppressed, the Kunzkis can just move up there. Okay, well up here, the Maximus still holding. That's actually been all 12 fires, so it's gonna be an ambush. What Germans are trying to make their way up. DPM here on the front of Vicky. In a pretty good position there to support the Maxims. Lots of machine gun fire there from the Soviet Union today. Not looking too good for the Germans on this side yet. They've actually lost a lot of troops. They, they are bringing up some half class though. And the Maxims are slowly just creeping up bit by bit. Porting one another. Doing their job as a very mobile machine gun actually. Panzerbuchs are still present. They were probably expecting some Soviet light vehicles, which are actually underway. We are seeing a half track coming out for one of them. Officers also arrived here for one of the Soviets to oversee the battlefields. A Leutnant, a Leutnant. I'm not sure how you pronounce it in Russian. You have the Alpha class leading up. They will be able to spot these guys soon. And the 42 has arrived for the penal troops. They'll definitely be able to suppress and keep this part of the front line held. MT-34 here for the Germans. Actually, double MT-34. You have lots of machine guns being utilized today. Oh, the MT-34 is trying to turn. But the mouths have got off. Oh, we have some Sturm Gewehrs now to the Sturm Pioneers. That's a big deal. That yeah, Molotov can be pretty deadly. Afterclass is in a good position and they have spotted the ambush Maxim, so... You can probably stay there for a while unless the Soviets get a recon unit. Or Soviets get out to the field. We even have Strafniki. Elite... Elite penals. You get here. You equip with specialized equipment. Oh, very special task. Oh, we have some Volkswagen just flying with MP40s. Looks like it's working quite well. Until we also called in there. They cut down both Maxims. Very good assault there. But the Soviets have the northern flank covered as well, with more Maxims. Hans is trying to come out with these MP40s. Will the MP40s do their job? Uh, it doesn't look like it this time. And they got shut down by the Zappers here. Meanwhile, the... Oh! There's no AT equipment down here to deal with this. And don't have enough munitions for... Uh, not have enough munitions for V-Patrone, but they need to act quick. They are suppressing it, though. They can't keep it at bay. They're also getting a pack. But suppressing it is the first step to stopping it from being a threat. This is our class is still present. We have some penals setting up some fighting positions here. And here's the specialized penals again from the other player. Because the Ulfi artillery, it's gonna be a little bit... Uh, we're gonna see a lot of the same troops, I feel. They'll be equipped with some more very specialized equipment here, like the VAR and the Maxim Tokarev. Very unique weapons. For the Soviets, that is. Well, the BAR is not unique, but it's also the Polish version of the BAR, as I understand. Let's see, they're still holding here. Artillery being called in on the German positions. I think the Waffen SS is not going to be able to hold that position for too long. Boy, the Soviet artillery strikes are just, are just big. So there's one unit there. Do you see the pack coming up quickly? As the Germans desperately try to keep the Soviets at bay from entering the Fatherland. 
Oh, we have a... Oh, we have a flat Panzerwagen. I don't think the Soviets on this flank have anything to stop it. Well, they do actually have a C60 coming up quickly. But they have no AT equipment on the stuff, Nikki. They do have AT grades on the conscripts, and they need to act quick there. But T-70 might be a, a legit threat unless the half gets close enough. Good shit there from the T-60. That goes. We have a forward camp set up here by the Soviets to coordinate the battlefields and to retreat to. And this half track keeps doing its job. We also have double full on penals called in as a forward assault group here, armed with flamethrowers. Meant to just storm into the front line and secure contested territory. They capture a lot faster than other units can. That's a Panzer F1 though, and another command half track come coming out. Looks like the Germans are gonna do a bit of an assault up here. Oh, the T70 should not do a lot against an F1. Oh, actually, it's critical hit, but it did not do that much damage. That said, the armor in the T-70 is pretty high for a light tank. Oh, oh, never mind. F1 got a penetrating shot. That's it being called in here by the uh, command half-track. Trying to set this building ablaze, I think. To deny it to the Soviets. That's it standing up here, actually. My bad. They do have an AT gun. It's a smaller one, though. Get it if you have if you're playing as the artillery and anti-tank, I believe. Artillery can get a lot of field guns and other nice little equipment. Supplement a defensive playstyle. Don't be so using that artillery strike a lot from the uh, officer. Like Soviet artillery commanders is not fun to play against if they can use like if they use like the officers correctly. Soviet artillery strikes are pretty damn intense. That however costly and we actually required the officer to have direct line of sight. Unlike the other factions. So he had to actually stay there and be able to look over there to coordinate in, unlike being able to stay back here behind the building and be able to call it in. Because that's how Soviet artillery works apparently. But to compensate it's a lot more powerful. Ow, good mortar shield right there. Games are preparing to assault here. Oh, the Maximus has been crewed with the extra men. Give it a little bit more fire, but we have lots of penals preparing. And we have field guns doing their thing, uh, farming the German positions. Now looking good for Maverick, unless Maverick can get in a good position at some point. Get them to stop these uh, Mac, uh, not these maximums, these scissors. There we go. That building is now denied to the Soviets, thanks to the uh, command half track. Holding a precision strike on it. Yes. Oh, he's throwing a satchel chart here, I imagine. Yes, very nice. Ooh, killing the storm grenade entirely. The fighting continues down here still. This little village is being shelled and destroyed bit by bit. Hillbox has been established here. We have an airdrop going overhead somewhere. Oh, munitions drops, okay. And the penals are gearing up for some assault somewhere, probably on the northern flank. This is pushing up bit by bit. I suppose being loaded. Now, this is actually a field gun and not an anti tank gun, despite being able to fulfill that role. A field gun is a little bit different from an AT gun. It's designed to support infantry with artillery options and other things. And uh, there's some more ammo coming in there. And the other scissors are still supporting with artillery fire, as you can see. Like it basically suffices as artillery guns. 
And more artillery being called in here by the lieutenant. And so for J is being prepared. But this might get panzer fausted. Oh no, it, 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 it keeps driving out of range. The Soviets are overwhelming the German defense here. And now his own sandbags are being used against him. The Panzer for J will almost be there. Yeah, the Germans need to send some support down to the southern flank. The northern flank is still holding thanks to this F1, so I don't think these penals will be able to do much. But now the, the Russians are going to move up, calling in more artillery from this Capitan. That's going to be a huge barrage, by the way, once that lands. Yeah, their first few ranging shots already coming in. Let's try to do ranging shots first. And now the big shield should land. That's Soviet artillery for you. Do we have Panzer 4J now? But yeah, the Soviets have done a lot of damage. They basically neutered one flank here entirely. The Panzer 4J only has heat shells, which is not good as not good as infantry. But the Soviets on the northern flank are setting up to deal with tanks, so it's not a problem. Hmm. As the Germans have taken a lot of losses. They're going to need some time to recuperate from this. Try to shoot for the destroyed house. That would be the most effective way of doing it. Man, they one pushing up here. Well, good anti-tank rate, but it's not the upgraded one, so it doesn't do as much damage. Then the Molotov to try and destroy the engine. Good attempt. One oh, then the mortar hits them in turn. Ooh. What's already been calling by the German command half-track? Aiming for the Maxim. The fight down here continues somewhat. We have more storm grenades coming in though to replace the losses. And how much is this outcry actually telling them? Well, it's giving them an idea of what's going on somewhere. Not enough. Not telling them enough, I feel. Oh, they have a repair bunker set up here, so it cannot fire, but it can repair the tanks and vehicles. That's always a handy thing to have. We'll probably get that unit reinforced rather than, rather than being so far up. Oh, it can be reinforced from this. Oh, that's why he has to open blitz, my bad. I'm stupid. I completely missed that open blitz. I thought only this was the open blitz there. <laughs> I'm blind. More artillery being called in here by the Soviet Union. It's going to be the heavy one since we have some ranging shots first. And then now that's going to be the second ranging shot. That's because it's an ambush, that's why it cannot move. And here comes the full barrage. That's a lot of penal troops. Ooh! They explode because they have satchel charges on them when you try to drive over them. 
That says you actually say let them to throw a satchel charge. If you then drive over them, they explode. Oh, we have a command crew from the F1 here calling artillery. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, point flame right into the building. Oh, they spotted the uh, off clock. That's for J is still operational. Using heat shields against the uh, against infantry is not really the most efficient use of it. They do have a heavy mode though, thanks to the staff division, which is essentially using the so 120 mm because the Germans basically just copied it after realizing how good it was. E34 being immobilized thanks to the pack here in the center. Aviate arriving on the northern flank. That's a big threat. I don't feel the Germans have any... Oh, they do have a pack, but that might not be enough. They are turning the pack quick, so that's good, good reaction time. They stood a mic gear in the time they need. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, they got it thanks to the Panzer Faust too. That must have been very uh, dire of a situation. But the service is preparing another push down here. Dushke in the building. You almost have to take them up in the rear though, which is nice, so... That isn't risking them too much. He could just set them up in the town here, I feel. Instead of being all the way up at the front line. You, know, you don't want to have them all the way at the front line, as that could be quite risky, my understanding. And my experience too. You need to be certain you can keep them safe, basically. I hit shell over shot. Oh, they do have an old bunker here to provide the machine gun, okay. Hopefully this German heavy mortar is doing some work. Not being set up at the moment, though. But the Panzer J is doing a lot of work, I think. The Soviets for the camp and is serving pretty well here. We also have one here in this building. And we have another KV-8. That's for j supporting with the uh, command half-track. Scorched Earth activated, so I think the Germans need to pull back. You don't want to be in, uh, in Soviet territory when Scorched Earth is activated. Because you're going to get bombed for every second you're in Soviet territory. You can see. They want to just stay in German territory for the duration of this ability. It's going to give the uh, Soviets some time to prepare for the next push. Meanwhile, the Herbie Mortar is doing its work the best it can. Oh no, they're moving into their territory. Oh no, yeah, and you can hear the rockets already firing. But these Germans are going to get bombed soon. They did decapture it. Good high explosive there from the CIS. And then the KV-8 shows up. So that one German will survive, yeah. And here comes the double penals. Penals are just pushing through here. Three triple Soviet artillery. And every day I see that. It's definitely gonna give them. Yeah, they already have a howitzer up. That's what I was waiting for. And when the howitzer start coming in, the Soviet artillery commanders are gonna shell the ever loving hell out of the Germans. 
That this is gonna be end up being non-stop artillery fire, I feel. That took us to be in a very good position, like back here. Ooh. Uh, looking good at all. Triple Soviet artillery. Not in every day. So we need to act quick. And not hit the building. This down. The Soviets are preparing to push up again. And the shells keep landing. I don't know if fighting in the center yet. At least for now. Most of fighting up here by the fields and down here in the streets alongside the railroad. But the Tugas of is ready to make its move. No, not yet. Oh, that's a slurry shield. Just missed. But it is still damaged and destroyed the engine. Well, I, not the engine, I think the tracks. That's yeah, probably the tracks that got hit. German howards are being prepared in defense. Probably it's going to be relegated to counter artillery duty. Oh, Soviet artillery here. Lots of it. I'm just snatch that a pack quickly and then pull it back. Everything is collapsing here. We do have a Tiger Tank arriving for the SS on the northern flank. The Tiger Tank, if utilized quickly, could give by them some time. Excuse me, just readjusting myself. There we go. But the shells keep landing and landing. We actually have a house for E. Triple howitzers. Oh, jeez. Triple howitzers for one of the Soviet artillery players. That's a lot of shelling. And it's a rain of steel. Oh, it's just landing still. And the building is just collapsing here. Oh, God. Sukasufu's down. German Hauser is on counter barrage, but it's doing its best. At this rate, I don't think they can make a comeback because the artillery shells are just too many. That you have the one on the counter barrage themselves to deal with the German counter barrage. Man, this is just boom. The enemy is attacking <laughs> one of our forward buildings. I think the Tiger Tank has to make its move now. Ostwind following up behind. As if the Germans cannot push through now, I think it's over. There's no mines here. They only have one sis. If that tiger can break through the sis, they might have a ch That's a B4. Oh god. That's a B4. Oh god, if that hits. Oh, it hits straight on the tiger! <laughs> that is the heaviest AT gun you can. Oh, not the heaviest. The heaviest artillery piece you can field in the game. Yeah, the German front line is just collapsing under the pressure here. But it, actually, the southern flank is doing surprisingly well despite being shelled continuously. It's not looking good here for the Germans. Panzer 4J is ready again. Somehow. But 36 kills, not bad. But shells. Oh, that's a B4 shell! The 
Ok, he's not gonna get out there alive, is it? It might be lucky. Oh, that was close. That crew's probably thinking they have to get the hell out of there. This place is already lost. As the soldiers are just pushing through and through. Yeah, you have to just push hard early if you're fighting triple sword artillery. I should note, balance gets completely uh, thrown around when it's above 2v2s, I feel. That's on 3v3s, you can really get some insane plays happening. Especially as artillery, as you can see. Just completely shell your opponent to submission. Well, they may not get good tanks, a lot of them, they, they don't need them. They're just shelling the Germans. Nothing else going on up here. You know, the surge just keep pushing up bit by bit. Oh, it looks like the uh, Germans surrender at this point. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Bye-bye!